Hey everybody, Brandon with Bearded CB82. <clears throat> Excuse me. So today we're going to be talking about the Echo Charlie Alpha Romeo Charlie 041, uh, new and improved uh, multi-function light by Snap-on. Also has a UV function, a really nice UV function. Uh, magnetic base. What it is, it's an, an update from the Echo, Charlie, Foxtrot, Sierra, Lima, India, Mike, Delta, Lima, X-Ray. And uh, I got this about three years ago and uh, still hasn't died on me yet. Still holds a good charge, which is one nice thing about it. Has a light on the top and then as well as the light on the side, all one switch operated. This one has dual switches. Uh, one on the top for the light, and then one right below that for your UV light. Now, both of them have magnetic charging bases. Uh, this one is also chargeable via micro USB uh, right here on the side. We're going to take a closer look here at both these. And uh, sometimes people like Snap-on do listen to things that need improved on, say from uh, this guy. And what all did they make different from this guy other than the UV light? Well, let's flip things around and take a look. All right, so first thing, like I've said, I've had this for three years. It's been, uh, had the living heck beat out of it. Has a, oh, let's see if we can get, you got your one red LED and then your three green to show your, uh, basically your charging indicator, which is one nice thing. It does let you know just by pressing it how high your charge is and the screen on it's kind of been beat up as well along with uh, everything else now this ran me about oh maybe like a hundred and five dollars and then the air compressor gotta love it makes every video this one same price point uh, they no longer make this one they stopped selling this one uh, this past year and good light i like it it's been dropped it's been beaten it's uh fallen into buckets of coolant it did have a hang light or a hanger with it and that hasn't broken off yet uh, it did come with a standard two-year warranty magnet on the bottom and uh, this one also magnetic you had one light setting it's like a hundred some odd lumens or whatever for the uh, top light, which is mini spotlight. And then it was about 300 lumens for this. Uh, lights up every area very good. Still works on the main beam for, uh, you might get about four hours of continuous use out of one charge, give or take. Uh, depends on if you turn it on, turn it off. But to this day, it, uh, Still works good, a little wobbly. It's no longer, but 180 degree swivel. <clears throat> uh, one thing, like I said, they listen to their people, the met base, also magnetic. Uh, this you could plug directly into the micro USB. And inside here, uh, there you go, there's one of them. There's the other contact. Those were the charging contacts. There's the pump. Hold on. All right, pump's done. So back to it. The charging contacts in here, they were the first things to get gummed up. Uh, the stand itself, really good magnetic base. You can put two screws in the wall, hang it off the screws. If you're up against a wood surface, still worked really good to hold it in place. Um, I would just hook it right up to the uh, steel sheet metal wall next to the outlet and just let it charge whenever I needed it to charge. Uh, micro USB so you could stick this in your truck, charge it off of your uh, outlet on your truck if you wanted to, your vehicle, whatever have you. Overall, this was a good light. Uh, within the first two months of having it, it literally paid for itself. And that was before, you know, Astro really came along with one. And then this past year, Snap on, or er, Harbor Freight came out with their version of the Astro Light, and uh, that thing's got kind of mixed reviews. Uh, but this thing's still working, still kicking. Uh, but then, about three or so months ago, 
they came out with this guy, uh, stuff sticking to it, I just cleaned it, so it can be cleaned by citral quite readily. So first thing, uh, the nice long solid beam style, and like I said, your UV light. Here's where you have your one for the light itself, one for the UV light, so they did separate the switches, which is nice. Your indicator back here, green, and then it'll go to yellow and then the red as your um, charge dissipates within your flashlight. Now this will dim slightly before it does a straight cutout. So if you're underneath of a vehicle, you may notice it, you may not, but you can always just press that on the back and it will shine green, shine red, shine orange, uh, which isn't too bad. They did seal off the main bottom magnet, which was a nice thing. You can just wipe that clean. Magnet, still very good. Uh, hang this off of a lot of things. No hook. Uh, a little bit more of a grab space here. This is rubberized on this. And it is more positive. Same 180 degree swing angle. But the biggest improvement is of course the uh, UV light and it is a very nice UV light. Uh, very bright, does cast a really good beam. So uh, ha very happy with that, been able to find leaks really easy in that light without having to shut off the shop lights uh, or even put on the amber glasses. The charging base for it uh, does come with a wall charger, USB style for it. This is where they made the biggest improvements. Uh, simple magnetic retention on it. Uh, mild retention uh, in there, but the contacts, as you can see, larger exposed, easier to clean off. Same with the contacts in the charging base. Uh, it's self-centering, so if you set it in slightly sideways, it's not going to be off canter. It will just uh, self-center right back in, which is one nice thing. And it also has a USB out, so you can hook up, say if you had magnet. So if you had two of these side by side, you could go ahead, hook up this right into your charging base or outlet on this with a micro USB. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, where was I? Okay. Um, charger base. Sorry. I got interrupted there for a second. So on the base, does have it where you can run it out the back if you're just using this as a standard base. Of course it is magnetic, uh, very nice magnet. I just stick it right up against the sheet metal on the wall. Same thing how I did with this. Size wise, as you can see, base is a lot different. So, oop, yep, magnetic, as you can see, does hold well. You can uh, port this out any which direction you want for the charging cable. There's the pump. All right, pump's done. Now I think I've uh, talked about charging base enough. Let's look at some of the specs. So, as you can see, uh, yes, I've kept the box for three months. whoop de doo So approximately uh, charging time, four and a half hours. I'd say that's probably pretty close to right, maybe three and a half to four and a half, somewhere in between there. Run time three and a half hours at the highest setting, eight hours on the UV, um, 10 hours on the lowest setting. Get that up there for you guys. 400 lumens is the highest brightness down to 50 lumens. Yes, this does have a dim, same as all the rest of them. And same thing, you'll press the button, hold it down and it will start going up. And brightness level blinks, you're at the highest brightness, and then same thing down to the lowest. So does have some adjustability, which is the nice thing. This just has one setting. Well, two if you count the top, but just uh, one main brightness setting on here. So being able to get an extended runtime on the lowest setting on this or custom adjust it. 
is kind of a nice little touch. Oops, put this back into frame here. So overall, I think the upgrades on this are nice. Uh, same price point for each. I use, well, this one stays in my truck now and I haven't charged it and it's still holding full charge for three months, cold and all since we've had lows down to about five degrees and the highs lately have about, well, today's been the warmest day. It's about mm, shy of 40 out, like 38, 39. But uh, overall, can I recommend this? Uh, so far, so good. Uh, it, it does improve greatly over this one if you're curious. Uh, like I said, I haven't tried the Astro Light. I haven't tried the Harbor Freight version of it, the Brawn or Brawny or whatever that one is. I've heard some people really like it. I've heard some mixed reviews from other people about it. Still using the OEM tools. Uh, this thing's a little tank. It also gets the living hell used out of it. Even after cleaning, it still looks a little grimy. Uh, Bobby Salvadraz, I'll put a link to his channel here. Uh, Bobby DeBoss, he uh, went ahead and sent this to me uh, this past year. And so for a year now, I've been running this thing and it still runs great. Uh, the OEM tools ones, and you can find these AutoZone, Amazon, or what have you. Uh, this is the medium sized one. And I want to say they've got the large one, the extra long one, and then they've got another one that's just shorter than this, I want to say. Uh, I wonder if this one has two, four, six, nine, five is the part number on this guy. Uh, I haven't checked price on these lately, but uh, <laughs> you won't be disappointed by this either, other than if you need something that rotates. But as a portable floodlight, this thing works awesome. There are times when I use this, my other snap-on light, and this all in conjunction for if I'm back and forth from, say, underneath the front of the truck on one side of the steer axle, back around to the other, like when I change starters out. I'll have multiple lights around there giving me plenty of light so I don't have to move anything. Uh, maybe if I happen to knock it down or something, but other than that, good light, good light, good light. Uh, let me know what you guys think. So remember, shop safety is just as important as firearm safety. If you screw something up, somebody could die. Uh, take care. Enjoy.